Natasha Bernard Horvath, and I'm one of the members of the Encinia City Council. And it is my pleasure to introduce the winner of the 2017 San Diego Heritage Museum Living Heritage Award. And today we're honoring somebody very important to our community, somebody who made today possible in 1988. Um, with a coalition of descendants of the founding families of the towns of San Diego, she realized that there is a wealth of our area's heritage being stored in our attics and in our barns. And so this, you know, if we came together, we could illustrate the history of this unique area. And with that, the San Diego Heritage Museum was born. Her organization skills and ironclad memory helped to develop and build this amazing institution where we now serve thousands of children and adults while preserving, interpreting, educating, and celebrating the heritage of the communities of San Diego. So I'd like to invite up right now, the winner of this award is Jan Grice. Thank you so much, Jan, for everything you've done. Jan has tirelessly and tenaciously been instrumental in making the museum and what it is today. And you're still a full-time docent, correct? Still a full-time docent, serving on the co collections committee, Jan, along with Pam Walker, are part of the Memory Trust for the region, helping to collect and preserve not only the artifacts of our communities, but the delightful stories that go with them. Today we thank and honor Jan with this well-deserved respect and appreciation. Thank you so much. and gifts help keep this museum keep their history alive and well and we again say thank you for coming and giving of your time and money thanks to all the docents and volunteers who work so hard on this barbecue today yes you can clap that's okay you can yell you can scream you can whistle and a very special thank you to Tom and B. B. Lambert, who are more than caretakers. They really do take care of the museum and all of its many facets. Uh, we also have so many valued sponsors and partners this year. Not going to name them all, but we want you to take a look in your programs, please. You all know how to read, right? Let's have a nice hand for all our sponsors, please. Come on. Going to help you burn some calories here after all this great food at the Deep Pit Barbecue. That's right. So clap heartily and frequently. Be sure to take a look around. Get over there to the silent auction table or the baked good table or over there if you haven't eaten yet to the Deep Pit Barbecue line. And, of course, all the tents and fine sponsors you see on the perimeter. Thank you so much. We'll be back in a few moments. Thank you, Grace. Um, so this is actually, you can drive it on the street right now. Oh, yes. And Do you? This one's been driven all over the place. It's been driven in Canada. It's been driven in Utah. And lots of tools. So the engine? The engine is an original Ford block with a, a few modifications. It's got distributor. It's got an alternator. But it's got the original carburetor, the wow. original manifold. And they all work together and in perfect work harmony. Just fine. That's amazing. It makes it better. It's got a 12 volt starter, so it starts very reliable for her. You know, yeah, of course. Here, There's no crank. It's away. No <laughs> what kind of gas mileage you get? 
about 20. That's not bad. Oh my gosh. Not as good as my Prius. 51. <laughs> Tease. <laughs> you guys, is there a club up here that you're all... Hidden Valley Model T Club. San Diego Model T Club. And the Hidden Valley Club is the Escondido Club. Right. Got it. You guys must have so much fun. I've been president of both clubs multiple times. How much fun do you have? Oh, tremendous. This is our, uh, this, basically, this is our social life. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> we don't think we do anything else, do we?